Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zima Outdoors. Not quite sure how well you can hear me. Uh, it's kind of windy out here, so you may hear a lot of wind noise. I don't have my external mic on me right now, uh, so hopefully you can hear me. But I am up at the property, and I am here to do some work around the property. I'm gonna move over here to avoid the wind. All right. So I'm here to do some work around the property, fill my feeders, kind of get ready for deer season, get my stand set up, cut some uh, shooting lanes, things like that. But I've also had this hog that has literally shown up every single day around 6.30 p.m., 7 p.m. And he sits there at the feeder and he will eat all the corn at that feeder for about three to four hours and then leaves and he comes back the next day. He's been doing that for about two and a half, three weeks now. It's about 4.30, so I'm gonna unpack here. I got some corn. Uh, I'm gonna unpack all this stuff, get my bow ready, and walk out there in about 30 minutes to an hour, set up some cameras, and hopefully uh, I'll, I'll catch him on camera and then we'll get a chance to shoot him and take him out. So stay tuned and hope you enjoy this video. All right, so the rain has died down some. It's about 5.40, almost 6. We've got about a 20 minute walk. I'm going to run out there, try and get a camera to set up to have a couple different angles. Got an umbrella and a poncho in case it starts raining again, but uh, hopefully it holds off and this boar shows up and I can get a shot at him. I will turn you all in when I get out there. All right, good morning guys. Day two up here. I'm gonna start some property tasks today. I'm gonna head out to uh, what we call Lily Pond and I've got a feeder out there that's empty. So I've got some corn, I'm gonna fill up the feeder. I'm gonna check some shooting lanes on my tripod over there, uh, make sure my cameras are good to go and then I'll head over to the next spot. So 
that's why we call it Lily Pond. We do even have some blooms on the lilies already. Guys, I'm going to put up a solar panel for this feeder real quick. Uh, the brand is Zeal Life. Never used one of these before, just figured I'd buy one, test it out. If it works well, I may continue to use it. But I'm going to go ahead and attach it to this uh, feeder here, and we'll see how well it works. I'll put a link in the description for this as well. I'm headed back to uh, what we call Duck Pond. That's where I shot that raccoon yesterday. I'm gonna fill up the feeder there. <clears throat> the solar panel uh, has been ravaged by raccoons and they ripped up the cable, so I'm gonna try and fix that as well. Um, and I'm not sure if I mentioned this yesterday, but I lost the zinger fletching on my uh, shot yesterday on that arrow. Um, so I'm gonna go see if I can find that and maybe see if I can find the, the raccoon that I hit as well. See, I need to get some uh, cable splices there and get that spliced back up, but they pretty much tore that apart. I'm going to put up this uh, HME hunting uh, T post mount. Should work a little bit better than the setup I have here. Alright, so I got a little mock scrape. This isn't really my best one because I don't like that it's just hanging in the middle that no trees are kind of covering it. So if I get a chance uh, a little later, I may get a ladder, come up here and fold some of these over and maybe tie into that one so that it looks like it's actually hanging down from a tree, not just floating in there. But I've got a camera set up a little bit better than I did before. Got the scrape going and I uh, sprayed some glyphosate in here as well to try and make sure I kill all that to make it look more realistic to a scrape. On to the next one. So this mock scrape's a little bit better. Kind of looks a little more seamless from that tree. May need some work on it, but again, scraped it up there, have some glyphosate in there. And I've got this trail and I started spraying some glyphosate right about now and I spray it all the way down here spray it all this and then spray it all the way over to the left there's a little watering hole there got a camera there as well I have access from over here so I'm thinking about maybe putting a stand over in here where there's kind of a spot cut out here for a stand. Right back in there. And I've got about 20, 25 yards shot that way. Here I can get over this brush and get into that little watering hole and shoot there. 
or I can shoot anywhere down this as well. So those are kind of my thoughts there. I didn't get a ton of footage of us building these bridges, but basically we had some 18 foot telephone poles given to us by one of our contractors. And there were two spots where we wanted to have a bridge so that we could make a path all the way around the entire property. And so we spent some time pulling these logs across the creeks. And then this past weekend, my mom, dad, and I spent some time putting two by sixes down, and this is how it turned out. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I can do this. You got it. No. Go slow. So as I'm doing this editing on this work weekend, I realized I didn't really close out the video, but basically spent two or three days up there, filled all of my feeders, got my cameras set up, got my shooting lanes uh, cleared out, got a couple mock scrapes ironed out. Um, I also put up a two-man quad pod that I am going to do a video on as well. It's a game winner quad pod. I really like that brand and they seem to work really well. And so I'll have a video a little bit later on me building that. Um, but I really enjoyed this weekend. Unfortunately, that hog never showed up again and I haven't seen him since. So hopefully he comes back uh, another time and I'll get another shot at him. But I wanted to close out this video and thank you all for watching. And if you all have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks, guys.